Hello, you're welcome to my channel. Now, in this video, we want to find the limit of this function right here. We have it to be x plus 1 plus 1 over x, then all raised to the power x as x tends to infinity. Hmm. Well, if you want to look at it, let's say we substitute directly x to infinity. Um, as x tends to infinity, this right here will tend to 0, and then 1 raised to the power x. In fact, it seems as if we are going to have 1 raised to the power something and we are, you know 1 raised to the power anything is going to be 1 it seems that the result is going to be 1 but no the result is not 1 right so we still need to be very careful with this and then um, we still need to be very careful with this when you have an exponent here and that stuff tends to infinity you don't have to just evaluate it immediately you need to try to bring it down and work with it a little bit. Well, I'm going to do this in two ways. And the first way, I'm going to use a binomial series. I'm going to expand this. And then the second method, I'm going to do a substitution for you. But anyway, the two of them are very wonderful. So let's just get on with it. When we have this, let me put down the main function itself, 1 plus 1 over x raised to the power x. OK, we don't talk about the limit first. Let's just put down the series. So if you want to expand this by binomial, we're going to have, well, as we know already, that if you are to expand, let's say, a plus b raised to the power n, what we have to do is to put down a raised to the power n, right? So the whole power, we add it with, we now bring down the power, we subtract one from the power, that is the power, the power of a, we reduce the power of a by 1, and we increase the power of b by 1. So it was 0 over here. Now it has been increased to 1. That is why we can see it. So this was n over here. Now it has been reduced by 1. But remember to multiply this with n. Then the next thing we do is multiply this with n minus 1 over 2 factorial. OK, so this is it. Anyway, I'm just putting down this as a reminder for you over 3 factorial, then a to the power n minus 3, and then b to the power 3, and so on. So we continue in that manner. So I'm going to apply that, this right here in this expansion. So you notice that our a here over here is 1, and we have b here, eh is just 1 over x. So as the power of 1 will be reducing from n, the power of this will be increasing from 0. Great. But we are not going to put down everything because this is, x is, it is an unknown. We don't know where it will actually end, but we just need to increase. And in the limit, we had that it tends to infinity, so this will increase infinitely. But we are going to stop somewhere and put the dot, 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 just like we have done at the end over there. Okay, great. So what we do here is to go ahead and say 1 raised to the power x. In fact, let me just put it down as 1. Then, plus, the next thing is to multiply the power which is x, with a. This a here, since it's just 1, there is no point putting it down anymore because it's just a, a multiplication with 1. It doesn't change anything. Then we put down the b itself, which is 1 over x. Then we add it with... Now, the power here is what we'll be using. x times x minus 1 over 2 factorial. Then since this a is just 1, raise it to any power, it will still be 1. Then b to power 2, so where b is 1 over x, we raise that to power 2, that will just be 1 over x squared. Then we continue in that manner, using this, should be x, x minus 1, x minus 2, over 3 factorial. Then we put down 1 over x to power 3, and we continue like that. So that is what we get from the series. Well, great. If you observe, some things are going to cancel from there we will have, this is x and this is x squared. In fact, you know, this is a, to a single power. I cleaned it off and now reduce this power, right? And again, the same thing apply, applies here. This is just x and this is x to the power 3. So we are going to reduce this power from 3 to 2 because I'm going to use that to cancel this one. And even this one, this is going to be 1, right? x over x is just 1 over there. So we can rewrite everything here as 1 plus 1, which is just 2, plus. This is what I would like to do. 
Here, let me put down the 1 over 2 factorial in front. Now, this is x over x minus 1 over x, right? So we just have it to be x minus 1 over x. You notice that since this denominator is just x, and the numerator we have difference of two numbers, right? I can actually split the fractions. x minus 1 over x is the same thing as x over x minus 1 over x. Okay, so x over x is going to be 1. Then 1 minus 1 over x. So I would like to rewrite this as 1 minus 1 over x after simplifying something. So this should be 1 minus 1 over x. Great. The next thing will be done over here. Now, here we are having... Um, let's, let's expand that. This is 1 over 3 factorial. So we have this product, the product of these two um, factors, or these two brackets. So we have x squared. If you multiply it, you're going to have x squared, then minus 3x, all right? Minus 3x plus 2. Then we divide it with x squared in the denominator. So this is the 1 over 3 factorial. This is the top. I've expanded it already. And this is the bottom, x squared. So we keep on adding. But just like we did over here, I am going to reduce this a little bit. Okay? So you observe that we are going to take this. Each of these will have the same denominator, the common denominator. So we're going to have x squared divided by x squared. That will be 1 minus 3 x divided by x squared, that will be just 3 over x at the bottom. Then for the third term, we are going to have plus 2 over x squared, like that. So this bracket, I can rewrite it with all of this. Okay, so I just cleaned that up. And now put it down for you. So put it down as 1 minus 3 over x plus 2 over x to the power 2. And we continue like that. Great. Okay, the next thing we observe here is that, in fact, you know this is 2, which was the same thing as 1 plus 1. So maybe let me just put that down, 1 plus 1. Are you, I'm, I'm going to make an observation now. We have this is 2 factorial, this is 3 factorial in the bottom, the next one will be 4 factorial, 5 factorial, and so on. Great. And over here, I can rewrite this as 1 over 1 factorial, just to suit the pattern. And you know that... This can also be written as 0 factorial, knowing that 0 factorial is the same thing as 1, so 1 divided by 1 is still 1. 1 factorial is the same thing as 0 factorial, which is just 1. So I can rewrite that 1 plus 1 as the whole of that, so that I just sits the pattern at the bottom. So we observe that the limit of this, okay, as x tends to infinity, is what we were looking at, actually. So we look at this, then I'm going to take the limit of the right-hand side, so which is just like taking the limit as x tends to infinity of the whole of this. Of the whole of that. So we look at this limit. As x tends to infinity, we know that 1 divided by a very large number, this right here will tend to 0. Okay? So this is 1 minus 0, which is just 1. And as x tends to infinity, the whole of this will also tend to 0. Okay? So 0. Then 2 over x squared. X is very large, so 2 divided by a very large number, and you're even squaring it, it would also tend to infinity. So that means all these brackets, they have reduced to 0. We're only having 1 plus 0, and so on. That's just 1 over there. So that is it when we take the limit as X tends to infinity. And having done that, we can identify this to be a series of something. But first of all, we need to multiply these things out first, all right? So when we multiply 2 with 1, remem remembering that all these parts will, will be giving us 0, we just have 1 over 2 factorial here. We add it with 1 over 3 factorial times 1, which is the same thing. And we continue like that. 1 over 4 factorial, 1 over 5 factorial. In fact, let me just put this close. All right. So this is going to be 1 over 3 factorial and so on. Great. All right. So we observe that the limit of this function okay, is giving us the whole of that. 1 over 4 factorial, it will continue like that. We can identify this, all right, to be a series when we are taking the series of a certain function. For example, if we are, in fact, this is actually the function. When we talk about exponential t, all right, e to the power t, okay, so this can be written in a series form 
as the sum, let's use k in this case, as k starts from uh, 0 to infinity of t to power k divided by k factorial. So if you want to write out the series, you're going to have 1 plus when k is 1, when k is 0, we have t to power 0, which is just 1 at the top, divided by 0 factorial, which is still 1. The next thing is, when k is 1, we are going to have t to power, sorry, when k is 1, we are going to have t to power 1, divided by 1, right? So that is just t, then plus, when k is 2, we are going to have t squared over 2 factorial, when k is 3, t cubed over 3 factorial, and so on. Now, in this uh, series, we see this is 1 over 0 factorial, this is 1 over 1 factorial, this is 1 over 2 factorial, 1 over 3. Irrespective of the t squares, we are still having 1. In fact, this is a case where we are having e to the power t. This one is the case where we are having e to the power 1. So that means that the limit of this function, which gives us this series, this series is the same thing as e to the power 1. So that means, in general, or in conclusion, that the limit as x tends to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x raised to the power x is just equal to e. And that right there is a nice place to stop for you. Okay, so um, I'm going to do the second method in another video. So I'm going to end this one right here, and I'm going to do it again for you guys to see. All right, thanks for watching.